called upon God. The God of GCK showed up for the family according to his writing. The child miraculously passed out that object and was saved from untimely death. We will end with this testimony now as we broadcast live from Port Harcourt, Nigeria. Port Harcourt, South South Nigeria, broadcasting live. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Beatrice Todi Imabe Pago. I'm from River State, Nigeria. I want to glorify God for his faithfulness in my life and my family. I got married in 2001. Ever since I got married, I was, I was told that I had fibroid. And through, um, during that um, um, 2001, I took in. The, the, I was told when I got to the hospital that the fibroid occupied my whole womb and that uh, the baby could not even have a space to stay. So the baby was lying right on my chest. But God saw me through. Though it was true, I delivered through CS. After that, I kept going to hospital. They would tell me that the pregnancy, the, 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 the fibroid is as big, as large as the pregnancy. As, as like a woman. In fact, sometimes when I go to the scan, they would tell me, they would just laugh and say, Madam, it's like you're carrying a nine-month pregnancy. You know, that was how big the fibroid was. But I kept trusting God. I got to a point, I was told that I have to operate it because it was now, it has entered a dangerous period. At the time, I agree because, uh, because of the pain, the bleeding, the bleeding became so severe. When I went on to bleed, I, the thing would pour and the doctor would tell me that because uh, it, that it cannot stop because they can't control it. About this, uh, this year, around May, June, I went to the hospital. I was told that my blood percentage was about 15% because of the bleeding. But what have I built it up by the grace of God? It got to 25. And the doctor told me I had to come and remove it. But during that mina crusade, during that mina crusade, I was praying. You know, we trust God, myself and my family. We kept trusting God, believing God. While I was praying, uh, Pastor Kumuye was praying. When he asked us to stand up, we, we should lay our hands. I laid my hands on my womb. I was praying. Something coiled, as if there was a wide wind that blew. And then something started coiling out of my womb, coiled, coiled, and came out from my right side, from my left side, and came out through, uh, from my parlor, we were watching my parlor, and came out to the kitchen, through my kitchen, and left. So I didn't know it was a thing that coiled out of my womb that passed through my kitchen and left. So I was now wondering who went out while we were praying. After the prayer, I opened my eyes, I saw my, I saw my husband, I saw my sister that was in the house, I noticed that. They didn't go out. I asked them if they went out. They said no. So I now knew it was that thing that coiled out of my womb that actually left my um, body through the kitchen. All the way, this has always been my resort. You know, when I go, they will tell me it's as big as a nine-month pregnant. But today, this is a resort. There's no longer pregnancy. Eh, no, no longer fibroid. Now I am, and my womb is empty after that incident. And during this November crusade too, I had severe pain in my pelvis. But on the first day of that crusade, while we were praying, where Pastor Kumuye was praying, God took away that pain. So I'm here to tell God, thank you for all that he has done for me. I appreciate him. May his name forevermore be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank Pastor Kumuye for being true. He's, uh, for being true. God bless you, Pastor Kumuye. And I also want to thank my husband that, has, that you know, was patient with me and all through the period stood by me. I said to God, uh, uh, God bless him. And to God alone be all the glory for all that he has done for me. And he who has done for me, he will do for others. Other testimonies I'm believing God, he will grant it for me in Jesus' name. Amen. The power of God in the form of that whirlwind came and rolled the problem away. For now, we return to the moderating overseer. Shall we jam our hands together? The power of God is moving. Next testifier. From the Alpha location here. Next testifier, please. Praise God. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. I want to thank God for God keeping me so long in a Deeper Life Bible Church. And I also want to thank God for the healing I received on Sunday for my bleeding for three months. So I'm giving God the glory for his healing. And I also give him the glory for saving my life and brought me into uh, his marvelous uh, grace and uh, helped me to be in faith. 
till now. Praise God. My name is Aisha Lua. Thank you. Let's jam our hands together as we have music and praise God together while the next testifier is preparing to come. Next, next, get us set. Let's sing together. Gabriel Muyabi Ubangiji. The other one and Locotina Cause and Guadia Gaban Jama Gabon Ubangiji Allah. Now, whatever Allah came in Zoa Nantaro, Bana Ia in Chia Binti, Bana Ia in Sharwa in Nasharwa, in Natia Binti said and name in the Zanjan Yibirgima Sabo that you want to keep Walsa. Now, what the ma Baba, now what the ma Allah Edda. Baba ya na dauki lokaci domin yayi addu'a'i domin mu marasa lafiya mu warke ina ce ma ubangiji na gode ina ce ma baba na gode ba Hallelujah Her name is Charity Thompson she has been uh, sick for 10 years with ulcer and any time she take food she will be in is excruciating pain and uh, rolling on the ground but as the man of god prayed yesterday night the lord healed her and she is healed i asked her how do you know you were healed she said she went and took a meal over there what she does not used to take and she was sound and normal praise the lord let's put our hands together before the next testimony can't we just give glory to god and sing together Orchestra, please let's sing for one minute as the next testifier is coming. Let's sing, let's clap hands along with uh, our orchestra. God is doing something greatly here. Clap your hands, let's sing together, let's sing together. What great things God is doing. Next testifier. Yes. Well, so, Nana Mary, Jesse, Ni Nagoja, Moko, Jama, Yu Nazo Tarnava, Bana Tafia, so say, Ba Idu, Gakrigina, Nature Abishi, Akarigina, Nataya, Kayena, Dakunina, Baza, Ia, Geniba, in that Berichima, Baza, Iava. Tushin in nature, Bari Jewel in the Yu Shini Matata Naya County. Shini Kana Nazu Nazu Nasam Sogi Nazu da Kafa, Ama Idi and Zuhari Naina, Ama na Goja Baba, Dayazo Damaona, na na Goja Mishi, na Goja Mishi, na Goja Mishi, Allah Tame Kashi. Hallelujah. This old mama, her name is Mary Joseph. For the last 20 years, she had been using this walker, and she was having old pain in her body. But she just came in this evening. Her daughter-in-law brought her, and as the man of God prayed, the Lord healed her, and you, if she came in with, with her stick in her hand. And to the glory of God, she is whole now. Mama, Where are your hands? Where are your hands? Jam your hands together. 20 years, 20 years. Look at her stick, raising it up now, walking normally as if nothing had happened. Put your hands together, that, that clapping is not enough. Next testifier. Next testifier. Nisunana Priska Patrick. Now Zone in Luna Shade of Godiana wa Allah Ubangiji. The Kuma Baba. Bisaga Fama Dana Fama Nay Fama Gaskie. Bisaga Chuo Baya. 
Naje asbiti, 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 naje as da safi ina ya duwa nzo na tashi ya duwa ba zan iya yi ba amma yanzu da nazo zan iya zan a zanne yi aduwa ba komai banji ya dauke mini saboda haka ina godewa Allah na kuma ina godewa baba a cikin suna Yesu hallelujah praise the lord her name is priska she has been having excruciating pain in her back she has gone to hospital severely and they have told her that she has ulcer but the, the second place she went, when they told her what is worrying her, she was afraid. But as she came into this program and the man of God prayed, the pain has gone. She says she finds it difficult to, to even do some things with her body moving around. But she can now pray and take time to pray. And she's strong, as agile as you can see her demonstrate pre some moment ago. Praise the Lord. Brethren, I need increasing clapping. Increasing one. Increasing one. Increase it. Increase it. Increase it. I told you tonight we have a long queue of testifiers. That's why we are picking as many as we can without wasting time. As God is touching you, keep coming out. Keep coming out. Keep coming out. Next testifier. Next testifier. After this, we go online. For a minute. Askira uba local government. I'm schooling at College of Health Technology movie. My testimony goes like that. Truly, I have been passing through many challenges. But on Sunday when I came here, I give my life to Christ. I received my salvation. After that, yesterday, as the daddy was praying, sometimes when I'm in school, I used to pass through challenges of sickness. Every month, I've been experiencing some sickness. Every end of the month, since August up to November, during my examinations, when I, I would start writing my examination, I felt sick. And throughout the examination, I'm not feeling fine, but by God's grace, I try all my best. I write the exams, and on Saturday, my brother told me that I should come here for the crusade. And after when I came, all the sicknesses, headache, before even if I'm reading, I'll be feeling some things in my head, confusion. Even if I read sometimes, I'll forget the things. But after the prayer of the man of God, I receive my healing, and sometimes I cannot even sleep well, but now I can sleep. Praise the Lord. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. You can see all round mercy, all round miracle. Mercy of salvation, of healing, of deliverance, everything. Join the orchestra to sing this before we go online. Put your, join, join your hand and be singing and be clapping and be singing and be clapping. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much. Few testimonies from online now. It's all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello. Please, online testimonies, few testimonies from online, then we come to round up with, uh, with uh, our alpha location testimonies here. There are still many there. Let's see how far we can go in the next few minutes before we round up. Online testimonies. Yes, testimony. yes, yes. Online, we have evidences that the power of God knows no respect for whatever big the name of that illness is. And this is coming from Martha Sunday, who wrote that my patient was healed from liver cirrhosis. Now, when we check the meaning of that, it's a liver damage caused by cirrhosis. It can't be undone, but further damage can be limited. But according to this person, he said this, uh, this patient could not work for five months because of this damage. But today, according to her, she connected the person, the patient, to the administration of the man of God. And after the prayers, she wrote, she can now work an evidence that the power of God knows no respect for whatever the name of the sickness may be. Let's jam our hands together for that wonderful testimony. Indeed, the power of God have no respect for the name of the sickness or whatsoever it is, as this testimony is coming from Moses Musa Dauda. He went to visit a woman for the GCK um, program, but when he got there, he found out that she was sick, lying helpless in pains, and the woman sent her son to get drugs for her. And the son refused to get the drugs, and in the state of her pains, helplessness, and sickness, she was listening to the message of the man of God. And during prayer, she was answering, Amen. He said, instantaneously, the sickness disappeared. While she slept, this happened on Friday. And on Saturday, she woke up strong and healthy. Praise the Lord. Indeed, strong and healthy. And this is coming from Salami Musa, who wrote that his son, uh, for three months, uh, three months ago, had been having kidney problem and um, according to him one of his classmates encouraged him to join the GCK online according to him the son has been going for dialysis for a month now but after he connected with the GCK online he said that the boy feels better feels stronger and the kidney sim the kidney problem symptoms have gone is getting better is very okay now Indeed, the power of God is so strong that sicknesses bow to the power of God as God has healed Alade Fatima of high blood pressure, ulcer, and chest pain after the prayer of the man of God. Shall we jam our hands together? Rain of miracle falling all over the world globally through GCK. Be part of GCK every month let's have live testimony okay live also testimony. have this Quickly. testimony on youtube uh this one is from alade fatima who said he had uh, high blood pressure also and chest pain all the three problems were gone by the power of god let's conclude with the, um, as we take you to south south nigeria uh, where we have this testimony from calabar we're broadcasting calabar live church praise the lord i'm a visitor in this program i attended this program and i had a touch from Almighty God. My name is Isaac Angari Osim from Ecom. 
I attended this program Friday. On Saturday, I had the touch from the Lord. I had an accident of about 22 years ago. I had this location on my waist. When the man of God says, wherever you have problem, lay your hand upon, I did so. At the last amen of it, I had relief. And that relief to today is permanent. I could not bend down without pains, but today I bend without pains. I go this way without pains. I slide back, no pains, but today I'm highly free. I say thanks be to God. May the name of this uh, almighty Lord and our Father who is controlling this program be highly exalted. In Jesus' name, amen. Free and free indeed. We return to the moderating overseer. Let's jam our hands together before we take this last testimony. Then we parade all the rest. There are many there because of our time. We are going to parade them so that we will show to the world what God is doing in this Alpha location and all over the world. The next testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Tony Nazo Shida Bodianani Sunana Agnes Pita Diga Michira To Abunda Lai Mini Ara, you want a shinach present a few de Shiba, Zan Shida Bodiana, when you have been a gamo in Barisha, the Bodnach Bazan Bariba, Shin Nazo in Shida Bodiana, the Najiba by Azuana, Shinach Toko Bashimazani, Mazan Zojinsa, Shin Alaya Ya Tanadam Kudinazo. Kuma gashi Allah yanu na mu alherin sanna ce na gode ma ubangiji na gode ma babam Allah kara mishi basira da ganewa dama ciwo 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 ne a kunne na dama lokacin to 2013 ciwo din ya kama ne a kunne na yana kuka kamar kamar gera yana kuka kai na bana bana ji abu sosai amma dan na zo nan lokacin da muka zo kwana daya the no quanta bantashi the Uruba soba the Kunena, the Yimun Chuo Chikin the River by Yukukaba, Nai Birchi, so say Ubangija Laban Workaswa. Achema Alana go de so say. To Ubangija Le Sakuma when the Sula the Irwana Chuo, the Wensu Kalamechu, the Shetanaki Kauma, the Chikin Jikumu, Yena at the Bemu, the Shiba Ubangija Worka, the Swachiki Suna Yesu. Praise the Lord. Her name is Agnes Peter. She has been sick and had this pain in her ears for the last nine years with noise like an ant making noise and is deafening her ears. But on Thursday, as they came in here, she had resolved that as soon as she reached here, the Lord will touch her and heal her. And as the man of God prayed on Thursday, she discovered the next day that her ears is okay and she is sound and our prayer is that god who has done it for her will do it likewise to others in jesus name amen praise the lord put your hands together for the lord we will parade the rest they will follow here now and as you are following when you go back to your places please give your testimony in your churches let's be putting our hands together as they are passing shall we rise up those of you in the congregation just stand up and look at this wonderful things god has done and be clapping as you are moving just be clapping just be clapping be clapping By the grace of God, our Father is coming back again. <laughs> 